अस्सलाम वालेकुम गाइस सो दिस इज माय न्यू वीडियो सो टुडे आई एम गोना कंट्रोल अ रोबोटिक कार टू व्हील रोबोटिक कार विद द हेल्प ऑफ माय एंड्राइड फोन एंड आई विल बी यूजिंग इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एक्सेलरेटर एक्सेलरोमीटर और बाय यूजिंग द कंट्रोल सिंपली आई कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दिस सो दिस इज माय रोबोटिक कार चेसिस व्हिच आई हैव परचेज Uh, forget about this robotic arm and uh, this is all the system which I will disassemble. Uh, disassemble this and uh, now I will show you how to connect the connection. Guys, don't forget about this thing. This is basically an HC zero five plus module which is used to uh, connect my Android phone with Arduino and it's used to communicate between them. So. So first of all, you have to buy this component, which is the Bluetooth module HC05. And next thing you're gonna need is this LiPo battery, an Arduino Uno, and a motor driving module, which you can see clearly. This is a motor driving module LM298. You will need this to control these two DC gear motors. And this is the overall chassis which I have used. Now I will show you how to connect these things. So guys, this is our lipo battery, and here it's plus terminal and it's the negative terminal or ground terminal. So uh, we will connect this positive terminal with the 12 volt of the driver module. This is the 12 volt, and here we connect the ground, and we and we will connect another. wire which is this wire this jumper wire um with the ground of it and here is the power supply for the arduino this is the power supply for the arduino the third one pin is the power supply for the arduino and it is white in color this is white in color this is green in color these both are uh, v input for arduino and the ground for arduino so we will connect this to be in and this ground to the ground pin of the arduino okay so now we will connect this motor wires with this terminal these two wires and the other two wires with these terminals this is the second motor i call them this is left and this is the right motor so there are six pins over here six pins of the driver module you can see this clearly 1 2 3 4 5 6 this first one is the pwm pin for left motor and the other two is uh, for giving the signal high low or low high uh, in which direction you want to operate uh, either clockwise or either anti clockwise and the other second pins are for uh, this motor high low and low high it depends upon your choice and the last one is pwm pin for this motor if you don't about know about the pwm pins or using the motor driver module you can see my previous video uh, which is on the tutorial about using this motor driving module so it's simple to connect so here is all how we made the connections these are the wires okay so first of all is this green pin this green pin which is the pwm pin which i have write it for number 6 for number 6 and the other two pins which is white and yellow this is for the left motor so i will connect it with the number 2 and number 3 pin so these are the pins yellow and white which i connected so white will go in the number 2 of the arduino and yellow will go towards the number 3 of the arduino number 2 and number 3 of the arduino okay so let's now go towards the right motor uh, motor pin so these are the next two pins 
can see this this uh, th th these are the next two pins I will connect uh, as so I will connect these pins as number four and number five this is number four number five pins now you can see it clear more clearly as you can see this number six has a slash outside it uh, which means it, it is a PWM pin and it uh, sends the it can send the uh, signal to the motor driver in the form of pulses uh, whichever pulse we want so this is the last pin PWM pin for right motor which I will connect it to the 11 pin so this is the 11 pin and now it's HC05 Bluetooth module uh, this orange pin is of 5 volt this brown pin is of ground and yellow is TX and black is RX pin Remember this, we have to connect TX pin of this module with the RX pin of that. We will connect in the opposite direction. So firstly we will power the breadboard and we will take 5 volt from here and ground from this. And we will connect it in the breadboard. This is the breadboard and this is the 5 volt here. So now it's complete. Just have to connect this HC05 Bluetooth module with the power supply. This is not complete almost. Just have to connect these two pins. And remember this we, we will not connect these pins unless we will apply we will upload the code to the Arduino. If we will uh, try to upload the co uh, code to the Arduino with the, these pins connected then uh, it will give error and the code will not be uploaded so we will first upload this code and then we will connect these pins so guys this is again the code and I have declared the left one left two right one right two and according to these pins I have connected these connections this is the PWM1 uh, PWM1 is for uh, left motor and PWM2 is for right motor so again use the string and char variables uh, to store the data which will be coming from the drive phone through the HC05 Bluetooth module and now I will declare it in this section as output mode because we will be giving the voltage to the motors but not accepting any uh, sensor values in the next section I have declared the serial dot available this is a serial dot available it means that uh, whenever the uh, we will send any any value to the serial uh, port of the Arduino uh, then it will read the value simply and will add up if we will send off then o f f will be uh, will be uh, read by the serial monitor as of a single word so for that purpose we have used this thing wall plus equals to c so next thing is uh, if the wall that uh, length is greater than zero which means that if uh, there is any data coming inside then we will print val which I have declared as value of the coming from the HC05 Bluetooth module in the next section we are giving the condition now what is this condition this is the condition if uh, that uh, when value will be 1 remember to put double commas outside the variable you want to operate so I will put it double commas around it 1 uh, in order uh, so that it can compare the value coming from the HC05 Bluetooth module and this value and then if there is one coming from the HC05 it will give it will uh, execute this condition which is high low and PWM 117 mean 117 is the speed I will adjust it and others 90 this is due to the uh, difference in the speed of the motors coming in uh, from my chase is because these motors are different one is black and other is blue so one motor speed is higher than other so this car constantly was turning on towards right or left so I have adjusted these values to, in order to keep it up straight so if the value is equal to s then there is a stop command and value is equal to 4 then left running you can uh, put any value you want but you have to configure this value in the application and will I will tell you about this uh, how to configure that value 3 and 
and notice this point releasing command now what is that releasing command i will explain later when i will use the android app and this value is zero don't forget this is the zero value so now we will move toward our android app so guys this is our app which we will be using so and the uh, connection is at 05 it is not connecting and we will have to wait it is not connected now we will use the accelerometer now see this if i will move it in the forward direction just blinking and giving some value backward it is also giving some value rightwards it is also giving some value again giving some value we will have to just configure these buttons just click on this and click on key configuration now i in my code i have used one for upward mean if i will go like in the forward direction then uh, it will send one and the arduino will get the one as forward command next is down which is s which i have used to stop the vehicle and the right one is 2 and similarly the left one is 4 so now when i will move it in, in it in this direction forward direction it will be giving one value constantly giving one value and it is not stopping the vehicle it is not giving two value towards uh, to move towards the right direction and it is now giving the left value to move towards the left direction so in this way i have used this accelerometer to control the vehicle hope you will like this video and share this video and make sure on and let me know in the comments if you have any problem